what's up guys welcome back to the rugged tyros and today i'm gonna do something i've never done before go winter camping in my backyard so today i'm testing out my hot tent the, well makeshift hot tent that i created out of a frabble hq 300 uh, six man ice fishing shack and I modified the roof to accommodate my wood stove. So this is something I've always wanted to do and I kind of just did my research but I got a lot of help from someone. That someone is Randino, my buddy Randy. He's helping me out today. We're going to test out the shack, see if it lives up to what everyone talks about online and yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so just like that, the tent goes up in seconds. Now we're just gonna get situated. There's holes here. We're gonna peg it down so that way there's more room inside the shack. Right, so these are the pegs and we just wanna get it as wide as we can get this. Still being able to close the door. My apologies, they're called ice anchors. These are usually a lot harder to get into the ice but the ground's not frozen and we're doing it in dirt. And just in case the wind picks up, we're gonna ice anchor the corners in as well. All right, so now that we've gotten this thing widened to where we want it, we're gonna go ahead and shovel snow onto the skirt. That keeps the wind out and basically keeps the warmth inside. So I'm opening all the windows that way when we set up the tent stove, the wood stove, it can kind of vent out. All right, so we're pretty situated. Now just to get the heat into the tent, we're gonna start setting up that uh, tent stove. So this is a Caribou Outfitters wood stove that I got from Amazon. I've done a couple tests on it and it worked out pretty good. To extend the life of the stove and to not burn out the bottom, Randy hooked it up with the small grill that fit right into the bottom of the stove. All right, so the windows are open just so we have some light here because there's still daylight outside. But we got the wood stove set up. And I think it's about time that we set up the cots in here so we can see the layout of how we would set this up out on the ice. In my head, I have it so that they're side by side as opposed to like on opposite sides. Um, but because the tent stove is there, I think we're gonna have to put them side by side. But I'm glad we we're able to do up these pegs here because that definitely widens up this tent. Again, it's ice anchors you nitwit. And I'm not sure, I'm not too sure if uh, Randy's privy to me sleeping right next to him. So I underestimated the size of these cots, so it looks like, Randy, we're gonna be sleeping next to each other. Mm, sort of. So as Randy sets up the wood, I finish up on the inside. Something I didn't show was that behind the tent stove, I set up a welding blanket so I wouldn't burn the lining of the tent. So we light the wood stove so we can kind of prime it. Without heat, the exhaust doesn't work. Now that we're pretty much set up, time to camp. All right, it's dark and it definitely looks like two dudes are camping in here. So we're in the tent right now. Randy's kind of messing with the fire to make it so we get some heat in here. It's actually not that bad. Um, we've been in and out quite a bit. We finally have all the windows and doors closed. Uh, it's three degrees in here right now. Three degrees in here right now. And it doesn't feel that cold, it's, it's nice. But just in case, we have hand warmers. And in the event that it does get too cold, I do have my buddy heater and a bottle of propane as backup. And worst case scenario, we can just come back inside. And because we're playing with fire, I do have my carbon monoxide detector in here. 
So it gives low air oxygen warning and also uh, carbon monoxide warning. So here we are, just enjoying our beverages. And yeah, it's pretty warm here. This is the first time we've actually had the doors closed for a while. Um, it kind of retains the heat. But every time we opened up the flume, or the front door, it would just smoke us out. So that's something I'm gonna have to try to figure out here. Yeah, so it's cool. We're not getting smoked out. I guess because the stove is so super hot right now and the coals are burning really hot that yeah it's just going straight out of the, the pipe. So. Oh, I forgot what you called that. Chimney? <laughs> the chimney, yeah. Jeez. Alright, so it's been burning pretty good and we figured that as long as there's a flame we won't get smoked out. <laughs> like the numerous times that we uh, uh, opened it up and uh, it just started like piling smoke in here. So yeah, just as long as there's flame, she should be good. So now it's, uh, I guess it's time to make dinner. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we got curry soup that's just going to simmer here for a bit. Then we have veggies that are steaming. And we also got some steaks, some potato salad, and pizza buns. Here's the heat. Well, we learned some things today so far. Um, to avoid smoke, you have to have a lot of flame. To cook on this thing, you need to have a consistent heat. So it's a good thing for warming up stuff, but not to like make gourmet dishes unless you're all about that fire. <laughs> yeah. And we're not all about that fire. So um, yeah, we had times where it got cold, then it got hot, then it got cold. Randy farted and um, yeah like I guess the consistent or the key is uh, consistency here like just keep loading it making sure there's flame and um, there was one point we shoved um, as much wood as we could in there but it didn't go very far because it was so backed up in the back but then after the embers kind of like dissipated it just crumbled and we were able to push more wood in the back yeah, it was so hot coals yeah so it was just all hot coals um, we're just gonna chill for a bit and then probably turn in a little bit here. Alright, so we got some logs in the fire, um, ish, <laughs> and we're gonna let it burn. It's actually getting really wet in here. You guys can't see it at all, but it's, it's pretty wet. But we're gonna try to make a night of it, see what happens, and I guess we'll see you guys in the morning, and yeah, I'm not liking this condensation this sucks like the one thing i thought it was gonna avoid and it's actually pretty bad we thought it was from the kettle originally but we took that off a while ago and it's still pretty wet so well she's morning guys and we survived um, it re did retain the heat, but it got cold at some points. I really had to rely on my sleeping bags to keep me warm. And, yeah, for the tent stove, I had to pretty much refill it every two hours. Like, the embers were pretty much nothing after every two hours. And, like, I packed it, like, jam pack. I packed it full. So, now I know. So this is where we spent the whole night. 
Well guys, that pretty much concludes the test. I know now what gear to bring, what I need to have ready for the next trip, so yeah. If you liked that video, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and then that bell icon for more notifications. Thank you guys for watching the Rugged Tyros, only here on Tequila Creative. <laughs>